Yo, what's up guys, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to get the huge chef cap. Now, um, this does take a little while to set up, but trust me, it's worth it. Um, so let's go to the second floor, see I have this cell set up. I also have, um, 74,000 customers, as you can see, out of 100,000, and 640 million dollars in level 78 right now. Um, this all took me around, let's see, two, an hour or two to set up, and then I'd say around... 10 hours or so just afking overnight during school with an auto clicker on and a weight on my spacebar so i don't get kicked for being afk so for this layout i'm about to show you you need a lot of chairs a lot of tiki tables and a lot of decor i personally like to use a cacti as decor because they're not only small but you can just walk right through the actual plant ultimately it doesn't really matter what decor you use for the first floor, you want to make something like this. Um, I'll also show you what mine looks like so you can actually visualize it. Um, me personally, that helps me like know where stuff is placed and it's just way faster and way easier. So the layout for floors 2 to 10 was a bit complicated so I just recorded myself doing it and I'm just going to explain what I'm doing and how it actually makes your restaurant more efficient. If I'm ever going too fast for you just put the video in 0.25 speed and then follow along like that. So we're going to first start off by putting a tiki table there and another tiki table next to it. Um, I'm doing this so the um the customers they don't have to actually walk as far and all the tables are just right there and um, if you're noticing I'm putting four chairs to each table that's because um, like a tiki table is I don't think it's guaranteed but it's like I think it's guaranteed I'm not too sure a two block table is guaranteed to have a family of four there which obviously brings in more customers so I'm just doing this here making sure every table has uh, four chairs so four people could fit in it now we're actually gonna leave this blank spot here and you will see why later in the video but believe it or not it actually makes your restaurant more efficient by like 10 times it's crazy how much that one blank spot does but you'll see that later on in the video so over here we're almost done with the chairs and tables we're just gonna put one last tiki table here and then two more chairs now here you could either place all cacti or all like any decor of your choice but what i like to do is i like to put uh gumball machines all around it just to get a bit extra money you don't have to but i like to now, if you are placing gumball machines make sure when you actually place the other decor make sure there's at least one space in between that the gumball machine and the decor so they actually work but this is just fill the rest of the room up with any decor of your choice and then boom you're done this is what the end result should look like for floors 2 through 10 and if it doesn't look like this go back in the video and just rewatch the tutorial bit because one little mistake and the restaurant won't do well but this clip right here is a really good example on why you should leave this one blank spot here it's because the waiters and the customers need a place to teleport to get out and this just makes it way quicker subscribe and i will give away my huge chef cat